Gee, it'll be there by that date. Yeah, no, nope, don't worry about it. You don't need to know where it is. You know, a lot of people seem to think that it's the big things in life that bring you to an early demise. Stress of your job, that kind of thing. People just on top of you all the time. But I think it's the little things in life that really do kill you. Death by a thousand paper cuts. The stress of all the tiny things snowballing, adding up, until they're a gigantic white spherical monolith rolling down the hill, barreling at you at high speed with no mercy. And that brings us to a trend I've noticed in tracking numbers. If you go to US Postal Service, UPS, FedEx, or anybody who pulls data from them, you'll notice, at least I think you will, that we've got a little problem. See, it used to be when you'd pull up a tracking number, it would show you where the package was sent from, where the package went, and how far it was to you. Now, when you pull up a tracking number, what do they show you? Well, they don't show you all that important information that you actually care about. They just say, it'll be there yeah, on this day. And then you have to click between one and four things to get the details to find out, oh, it's in this city, or oh, that package you haven't received for a week has been bouncing between two post offices in Florida that for some reason keeps sending the package to each other instead of you. What? Why? I don't understand this trend. Why is it that when I look up a shipping number, I have to get a little tiny screen that just says, oh, here, here's the shipping number you typed in or you clicked through, and, and here's the method it was shipped by, and it'll be there by like Wednesday, May 18th or whatever. That might not even, not even be a real day this year. I have no idea. But why? Why do I have to do this? Why do I have to click a bunch of garbage just to be able to pull up what it is that I really want to know? I want to know exactly where my damned package has gone. Where is my package? I clicked the number because I want to know where it is. I didn't click the number because I wanted to get your estimate a second, third, or fourth, or tenth time. I want to know why you haven't brought it to me yet. I clicked the number because I want to make sure the people who were supposed to send it actually sent it, the people who they handed it to actually gave it to the people they were supposed to hand it to, and that it's on its way to me, one way or the other. Now, yes, I understand that the U.S. Postal Service is notoriously bad about not giving you package information properly. The U.S. Postal Service's attitude basically seems to be... You had a package? Yeah. UPS? FedEx? Eh, a little better. But you know what? I look at the computer right now. It's, it's right here. I'm looking at the computer right now. All of them. Every last one of them. They do the same thing. It doesn't matter who I click through. It doesn't matter what it is. Every single one of them. Click it, and they just say, Oh, it'll be there by this date. Maybe not due to COVID-19. Even though that's largely not a problem with shipping anymore and Christmas is long gone yeah it'll be there by that date yeah nope don't worry about it you don't need to know where it is oh yeah click the tiny little link that's not a button for some reason off in the corner or it's a tab it's like the third tab on the little tab page yeah yeah click that click that for details Oh, but then you have to click another thing that usually is different from that. Oh, like a little plus sign in a box that says, Oh, click here for detailed history. It's like... I already clicked for details! Why can't you show me the details? I just want to know where my box is. I just want to know that the $300 worth of parts that I ordered are going to be on my doorstep today or tomorrow or two or three days from now. And not just that you assure me that that's the case, but that I can see that there's some progress towards that happening. Why is that so difficult? And why did it happen all at the same time? Why did all of these shipping assholes switch to this system where they don't give you the detailed tracking history when you click your tracking number? Why is it that I have to go through several steps to see the one thing that I wanted to see from my tracking number in the first place? Why? There is no reason for it. There's no excuse. You can't give me a good excuse for this. You just can't. Because they've been doing it for a long time. It's not computer resources. It's not that they hired some junior PHP coder who wrote everything in like 
I don't know, uh, a shell script and then used PHP to talk to it. Th that's not what happened because they've been doing this for years with no problem. And all of a sudden, like a year ago, maybe less, I can't get detailed shipping information for any of my frickin' tracking numbers. Any of them without clicking through extra stuff beyond just punching through the tracking number. I want to know where it is. I don't want to know that you think it's going to be here at a certain time. And that's the end of the story. Rant over. Jody Bruce, Sean out. Like, comment, subscribe. Go down and go to my website down in the links at the bottom and then give me the money. Give me all the money if you agree. If you agree, then you have to give me money for my garbage opinions. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. And, um... Do you want details on the tracking history? <laughs> F you. <laughs>